Hey, what's up, guys? This is Yana Maria, the princess of AMG, and you are tuned in to 92Q.com. I've been around music since as long as I've been born. I've been listening to music. I've been singing since I was a little girl. I actually started playing the piano around eight years old. I started taking lessons, which turned into doing concerts, playing the piano and singing. And once I turned about 16, I started recording a little bit, but I was still in school. You know, I wanted to go out and have fun. So once I went to college and finished doing, you know, being a kid, doing everything I wanted to do, I picked back up and I really started and I said, this is what I really want to do. And that's when I started writing my own music. So everything that's coming from me now has been written by me. There was no event that really told me I really wanted to pursue it and I was really ready. Honestly, one day I just, I was with my cousins and we were, we were sitting in the car just listening to different beats and writing and we went to one of her friend's studio and I recorded a few songs and my mom let my dad listen to them and he was like, wow, this is really good. We gotta really start working. So I guess from that point on, it was like kind of that day that I went to the studio. I was like, I really wanna do this, like for real, for real. I've been watching, my dad is honestly, um, he's an executive producer. He's been in the music game since before I was born. So growing up, just being around him, you know, going to different events with him, into the studio with him and some of his other artists, I would just watch him and how hard he worked and different things that he would say while listening to their music and how like he corrected them into doing stuff. So I got to watch all of that hands on. So when I started making my own music, I had all of that in my head already. So it was kind of easier for me because I learned so much just from growing up and watching him do all of that. My creative process in the studio, I write before I go into the the studio so the whole song is done before I go in so when I go in I can just you know sing it maybe do it a couple times to add the ad-libs and make sure everything is perfect but the song is pretty much done before I actually go into the studio I have everything planned out mapped out the way I want it to sound the way I want it to be that way I'm not you know in the studio wasting time writing and thinking of different stuff I have everything done already when we um put out Candy Crush I brought it to my dad and he was like, wow, this song is really crazy. We should go record it. So we went and recorded it. We put it out on SoundCloud. And the numbers started going up like really crazy. It was like, oh, wow. So maybe we should keep pushing with this one. So we ended up doing a lyric video. And then once that one started getting crazy numbers, we shot the video. And when we put the video out, it was like, oh, like the numbers just went up. I was like, wow. I'm, I was just like. Honestly, I could I was speechless. All I could say was wow, and I was just so grateful that, you know, the song did so well and that people were taking a like to it. Most of my songs are just different experiences I've seen maybe my friends go through or my parents or me. I grab inspirations from a lot of different places, just real life situations and the way I may feel about them or even just sometimes how the beat speaks to me. Like when I listen to a beat sometimes, I can just kind of hear and envision what the song should sound like, so that's just what comes out when I listen to it. I actually have another song out right now on SoundCloud, and we also have the lyric video on YouTube, so make sure y'all get that. It's called Meant To Be. That was my second single that I released, and that actually means a lot to me because it's kind of like the story of my parents' life. You know, like that Bonnie and Clyde type relationship. I reference J and B in it because my parents have been together since before I was born, and I'm 21 now, and they're still together, still going strong, so I feel like they're meant to be, and everybody wants that relationship, you know, that relationship that lasts forever, so I think that it's a great song, and I think you guys should go, make sure y'all go get that. Follow me on all my social media at the Yana Maria, T-H-E-Y-A-N-N-A-M-A-R-I-A, and make sure y'all go subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have a lot of new stuff coming.